Hello everybody, this is Daniel Udero, sports editor for the Silver City Sun News. Welcome to another edition of the Weekend Sports Report. I know it's been a few weeks, just taking some time off, trying to catch up and uh, chill out, relax a little bit. But we're back in action, a lot of stuff going on, now the football's done. We got wrestling, we got basketball getting ready to go. And we're going to start off right now with your Silver High wrestling team. They hit their first tournament of the year. They were at the Las Cruces Wrestling Invitational this past weekend. They finished um, seventh out of 36 teams. Um, all the schools that were featured there were from Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Uh, class 4A, 5A, and 6A. And uh, Cleveland High School out of uh, Rio Rancho ended up winning the event. They had 254 points. Volcano Vista and Ironwood Ridge were a distant second and third. Rio Rancho took fourth while Belen was fifth and Empire out of Tucson was sixth. And of course your Colts were seventh. They tied 108 and a half points. Individually, Sean DeBiscus entered the finals, but he fell to Miguel Barreras of Rio Rancho. And uh, that score was eight to three. So DeBiscus ended up finishing second. That was at 170 pounds. Other placers included Vince Vega, who was fifth at 152. Alex Wagner, fifth at heavyweight, and Cesar Sierra was sixth at 126 pounds. Other wrestlers that participated but didn't place included Zeke Marcus at 106, Ramon Rodriguez at 113, Damian Marcus at 120, Armando Galindo at 132, Esteban Vasquez at 145, David Hawkins at, um, at 145, Javier Guterres at 182, and Julian Madrid at 220. Ricky Villalobos and Lonnie Sandoval were extras at 106 and 132 pounds, respectively. Coach uh, Luis Alvarado said, We are going to be working on getting our other weight, weight situated. I saw a lot of good things and it's still early. We need to make some improvements and I thought our younger kids wrestled well. This tournament has definitely gotten a lot tougher. Silver will be out of action until their own wrestling invitational and that won't be until the new year, which is uh, January 2nd and 3rd at Silver High. Um, that team will be another, uh, uh, that tournament, a dual format, and 18 teams will be in that um, function. Hey, your Cobra High wrestling team was also at the Las Cruces Wrestling Invite, and they didn't fill a full squad, of course. A lot of their wrestlers uh, coming off of football uh, barely got to practice the day before the rest, actual wrestling tournament started. But of the wrestlers that did attend, Eric Morales placed fifth at 113 pounds. Gabriel Pedraza was fifth at 170 pounds. And Angel Guerrero took sixth at 182 pounds. Other wrestlers that attended but didn't place included Zeke Solis at 106 pounds, Jose Delgado at 220, Red Horsley at 138, and Anthony Moreno at 152. Uh, newly coached Jared Gallego said it's a very tough tournament. But the kids did good and there is still a lot of stuff that we need to work on. We will be back in practice working for this weekend where we will be in Demi. And then once again, um, don't know if they're going to have a full team yet. I don't expect them to have anything really a full squad until that Silver Invitational. Again, a lot of those wrestlers have to certify. So we're going to take a short break here, take a look at some of the photos that, uh, from that wrestling tournament and also some basketball action. We'll be right back right after this. Glad you guys got to see a lot of some of them photos. Hope you enjoyed them. As always, we're trying to bring in some nice uh, uh, footage to uh, this sports report. But now we're going to talk basketball. Your Silver High Boys basketball team went one and two over the last weekend. They were in a tournament in Albuquerque, Sandia Prep Tournament. They fell to Española Valley and Valencia before beating East Mountain. Um, against Espanol, the Colts fell 62 to 35. Keyshawn Thornton led the scoring attack with 12 points, while Sebastian Cruz followed with seven, and Tyler Gonzalez had five. In the second game, Valencia played silver tight, and Valencia ended up picking up a 61-58 win. 
Um, in that game, Josh Sines hit three trays and had 16 points. DJ Bly followed with 12 points, while Garrett Laney had 10. The final contest saw your Colts fire on all cylinders and BD smiling 65 to 28. In that game, Sines led with 24 points. He hit three shots from beyond the arc. Laney followed with 16, while Cruz had nine points. Well, your Silver High Fighting Colts on Tuesday night fell to your Santa Teresa Desert Warriors 38-26. That loss put Silver at two and three overall. Silver was just five of 16 from the free throw line and had just one player in double digits in that, in that game. The Colts had one bad quarter where they just scored two points and that was in the third. Sean Gutierrez led the scoring attack with 11 points while Josh Sines followed with four. And Jadon Lewis and Gary Laney had three points apiece. Keyshawn Thorne had two points. Um, it was just one of those games where if things could go wrong, they did in spots. Head coach Brandon Siquero said, we need to find some consistent offense. We will take that and work on it and keep at it. Silver will head to the Paul Hockey Basketball Tournament Thursday night where they will meet up with Monte Del Sol in the first round. And once again, that tournament runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, after a slow start, your Cobra High girls basketball team came roaring back to take the 38 27 victory over Santa Teresa, and that game was also Tuesday night played in Bayard. With the win, the Lady Indians improved to 4-3 overall. Cobra got 13 points from Natasha Macon to pace them. Jessica Martinez came off the bench to spark the team with 8 points, while Angelina Bencomo had 5. Betty Orozco scored just 2 points, but she had a great game. And uh, head coach Ray Gonzalez said, I thought Jessica came in and gave us a good lift when we needed some steals. Betty also played her heart out with assists and rebounding. Cobra will be back on the road Friday where they travel to face Lordsburg um, in its final game before the Christmas break. And finally, your Silver High girls basketball team couldn't buy a bucket Tuesday night. They were on the road against Gadsden. They fell 63 to 32. And uh, head coach Julie Gutierrez said, the score doesn't reflect it, but we did play more aggressive on defense. We could not buy a basket though. We were getting open looks. It just didn't fall for us last night. Danica Staley led with 13 points, while Larissa Bly followed with six. Terrence Brown had three. Lindsey Rodriguez, Stephanie Guzman, Danny Miskis, and Shelby Laney added two points apiece. Tracy Lackey and Tristan Montenegro had one point respectively in that game. Silver will be at home Friday night when they face Santa Teresa in their final game before the Christmas break. Well, hey, I'm glad you guys are tuned into this edition of your Midweek Sports Report. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back on Sunday night with another round of your weekend edition of your Sports Report. And we'll have a lot of basketball action to talk about and possibly some wrestling as Kobe will be in Deming. And we'll see, we'll see you then. So long, everybody.